Hey everybody, my name is Bianca and I wanted to share my thoughts on manifestation. So I have a doodle here I wanted to share. And um, just as a precursor to my explanation, um, manifestation to me is not creating something, but it's more of bringing my reality to something that's already created. So our thoughts create reality and once you think something, once you see it in your mind's eye, it's already created. And now it's up to your own free will and choices to bring yourself to that reality. So as an example, I have um, an actual example. So this is on January 16th, we had a company party. And I knew at this date that I wanted to wear a blue halter dress. Now, two months before that is when I thought that I wanted to think that I wanted to wear that dress. Now, I didn't know how I was going to wear the dress. I didn't know where I was going to get it. I just knew that that's what I wanted to wear. Um, every single point of my moments right now, my now has a lot of different possibilities and every single possibility is already created. So think of it as right now I am in this universe which is made up of different variables right here. So it's made up of the people I'm around, my physical um, physical things around me, my house, my car, etc. My level of consciousness, what I'm aware of, and my ego, the different battles we face. That's my own universe. So right now, I have all these variables that make up my universe right this second. And there's many different possibilities depending on what choice I make. So the reality of that I had in mind was that I was gonna already have this blue halter dress on this date. And what happened was about a week beforehand as I went online, now I didn't, I didn't do anything to get myself to this reality. I knew that that's what I wanted, but I didn't make, I didn't make any uh, actions to get myself there. A week beforehand though, I went online and uh, on a dress site, I went and purchased six dresses. And actually I didn't think about it at the time, but one of them was a blue halter dress. And when I received it, make a long story short, the one dress that actually worked and fit was a blue halter dress. So I ended up wearing the dress that I knew I wanted to wear two months ago. Um, just to show this uh, doodle here, the variables that make up your own universe are the people around you, the physical things. Everything around you is driven by your intention. And these variables change based on your intention. Okay? Um, so really, this is you right here, and these are all the different variables, right? And this is your own universe. So when you think about it, you're always in the center of your own universe. You are, the, the world really does revolve around you when you think about it. It's your reality revolves around your perception on everything around you, on all these different variables. Uh, one thing I wanted to share real quick, on the evening of the night of the party where I did get my blue halter dress, I was at a table with seven people and right before um, a drawing of names, they were drawing for a, a bottle of tequila. And one of my friends said, Oh, I really want that. So I started beating on the table and I said her name, which is Kristen. And I started saying, Kristen, Kristen. And everybody else at the table started saying that. And a half a second later, her name was called and she won the bottle of tequila. So what does this mean? This means that my reality was enforced by everybody else thinking the same reality. It happened a second later. It was the uh, manifestation was a lot quicker. So overall, what you think does become your reality. So keep up with your uh, positive thoughts and um, you know everything does start with your thoughts. So thank you for listening.